The Asian boat show season is in full swing, with no less than five boat shows within a month of each other. Singapore, Hainan, Shanghai and Phuket. In this episode, Go Yachting is on site at the Phuket International Boat Show, or more commonly known as Pimex, bringing you the updates. We then head to Hong Kong for the 50th anniversary Rolex China Sea Race, a 565 nautical mile offshore classic from Hong Kong to Subic Bay in the Philippines. And finally, we take a look at the growth of match racing in Asia. One of the more established boat shows in the region, 2012 Pimex, was the ninth running of what has become Asia's largest in-water consumer show. Hosted at the award-winning Royal Phuket Marina on the Thai resort island of Phuket, Pimex was held just before the Easter weekend and attracted a strong turnout of quality visitors. From shows like this, what we tend to bring away are a very good, few very good leads. Uh, uh, unlike other shows in the world, there's not a lot of um, uh, tire-kicking traffic, let's call it. Those, from what I've seen and from what I heard from the past and reports from the past, this is a show that has a very high incidence of success. Those who come, visit and spend time on the boats tend to become uh, strong candidates. The four-day show moved from its traditional post-New Year January timing to the end of March this year thinking being that the new timing would allow boat dealers to showcase the best possible boats available in the region. And the change paid off, with 2012 showcasing a quality boat lineup, the average boat size bigger and better than ever before. We've got almost 50 boats in the water this year. Um, the difference between this year and last is not so much in numbers, but in the quality and size of the boats. Um, if you look down this row behind me, you'll see there are many, many big power boats over 20 metres and that's the, the main difference between this year and last. The numbers of companies is about the same, between 80 and 100 uh, companies represented. The biggest boat we have in the show this year is the Pershing 92, uh, but by no means is that the star of the show. There are many other beautiful large boats down there. Permix is a marina side boat show with an indoor and outdoor display. Positioned as a lifestyle show and with a clear consumer focus, Permix has a mix of marine and lifestyle offerings for all visitors. Vision Hall, all manner of gadgets and toys, marine and lifestyle services and products were on offer. Outboards and inboards, wakeboards, sails, kayaks, charter and brokerage, boat builders, day cruisers, luxury villas and more. Even a James Bond style water propelled jetpack was available. The ultimate water toy for the person who has everything else. There were almost 50 boats on display, tenders to dinghies, sailing monohulls, catamarans to sports and luxury powerboats, and of course, super yachts. Major international boat brands were represented this year, including Fairline with their flagship Fairline Squadron 78 Custom, Sunseeker with a trio of Manhattans, 53, 63 and 73 footers, and Ferretti Group, Ferretti 720 and the largest boat in the show, the Pershing 92. New this year was a fractional boat offering from Absolute World Group's Marine Division. Pioneers in fractional real estate in Asia, they launched their fractional boat, at Elan 42 powerboat at Pimex. Phuket as a playground for the Asian rich and famous, as it were, has really started taking off and come into its own. And it has left this area where there is a great deal of desire to spend time in a luxury craft such as this one, but not a whole lot of access at a reasonable price. So what we've done is created a way that we can give people consistent access to a luxury vessel at a reasonable price. 
And one of the key components is the cost. You can get in for as little as 7,900 US. That's kind of unheard of for consistent access to a yacht of this size. It's a 42 foot, three cabin cruiser. It's a very nice motor yacht. Visitors to the show came from all corners of the world with a strong showing from Russia. Russia is a growing tourism market for Phuket and the numbers of Russians buying second homes on the island and choosing to invest in the marine lifestyle is increasing. Organisers also reported an increase in the number of Thai visitors and interested buyers, a market which is being targeted more and more by boat dealers in the country. Traditional, I think, a lot of Thais have been told that the sea is dangerous and stay away from the water and uh, that that's deeply rooted. But then you have a generation shift in the, in the corporate world today with a lot of uh, current CEOs and CFOs, etc. have been educated overseas. They've been introduced to boating in the east coast of the US or New Zealand or south coast of England. And they're now in a position where they can actually have access to corporate funds for the different purposes and, and uh, don't mind getting back into boating at the sensible level and work their way up and, and uh, get to know the, uh, the, the choices you have here with a boat. And Quite a few of the brokers that I've been speaking to this week uh, are starting to stress um, marketing to Thais. Um, traditionally, there is a Thai market, but it's not large. Um, Asians do prefer power boats, not sailboats. But more and more I'm hearing that they, that they are starting to make progress and they want to do more of that next year to try and get Thais interested in boating and buying yachts. The response to the date change by both visitors and exhibitors was good. And reports of a number of boat sales and hot leads made at the boat show support the Pimex position as the top consumer boat show in Asia. It's all about brand awareness. Um, that's, what we, that's why we're here. Uh, working heavily with the factory on advertising and the leads that we develop through, from the show. Maybe they come back five, six months to a year. It's developing relationships through the show um, and gaining friends at the show who will, will eventually, hopefully, uh, become good partners with us later. In 2012 marked the 50th anniversary of Asia's premier offshore race, the 565 nautical mile Rolex China Sea race from Hong Kong to Subic Bay in the Philippines. On the 7th of April 1962, three yachts from the Royal Hong Kong Yacht Club, one from Manila and one from Japan, crossed the start line of the inaugural race. In 2012, 25 boats took part in this biennial Blue Water Classic. Returning to defend their 2010 crown, Team Hi-Fi, skippered by Rolex China Sea Race veteran Neil Pride, were up against a tough fleet, including Jeff Hill and his new 90-foot maxi, Genuine Risk. Soon after the start, the softening winds put pay to breaking the race record set in 2000 by Hong Kong yachtsman Carl Kwok, and attention turned to tactics and handicap placings. After over 80 hours of racing, Zanzibar from Singapore finished and took the overall handicap win from Hong Kong boat EFG Bank Mandrake in second and Hi-Fi in third. The diversity of privately owned boats in Asia has meant most amateur racing of keel boats and multi-holes has been handicap racing. Other than one design dinghy fleets, one design racing is relatively limited in the region due to the lack of suitable fleets available. The Plateau fleet in Thailand and the J80s in Hong Kong the main exceptions to this. However, match racing in recent years has gained the following in Asia. Organisers of Malaysia's Monsoon Cup initiated the Asia Match Racing Championship and 
recently announced the Malaysian match racing circuit in response to growing interest in the discipline. In Singapore, the Singapore Management University's innovative student sailing program has produced great mixed fleet results. Recently, they have moved into match racing also. SMU Sailing just announced the launch of the 2012 Asia-Pacific Match Racing Student Cup, which will be held at Marina Bay in Singapore in September. Regional keel boat match racing events currently take place in Singapore, Hong Kong, India, Thailand and Malaysia. And this discipline of sailing looks set to continue its rapid growth throughout Asia. Oh,